What's good, YouTube? Car, if I can't hear Aqua Life, baby, I already know how it is. Um, it's kind of awkward as a Digimon video, but um, today, guys, I wanted to finally bring you guys my first deck profile uh, on the channel for the Digimon TCG. Um, this is going to be my, you know, and as you guys saw in the last video, my favorite color. It's going to be my purple deck, um, otherwise known as uh, my. It's going to be my uh, Beelzemon Turbo deck. Um, and as I guess told you, I really love purple. Purple is just has a lot of things, a lot of versatility, a lot of different things you can do between establishing board control, getting you know, um, getting advantage, reanimating cards, things like that. It just has a lot of elements I love about it. Um, so I wanted to show you guys this deck. Now, obviously, I am still tweaking a lot of different things um, in the deck. So um, you know, the, nothing is really totally, truly complete, as you guys know with me. So, um, I'll talk about certain things I want to kind of tweak and change and what I'm testing. But this build I currently has has been testing, tested out very well today. And I'm excited to show you kind of show you guys what I'm working with, uh, for really my main deck and my main color. Um, but let's go ahead and go to the mat and see what we're working with. All right. So here we are at the webcam setup. Um, so starting off with the digi eggs. I'm running uh, four Pokemon and one Yaman. I want to test more with Yaman. I want to try another Yaman, but Pokemon when attacking Millicard. Like I said, the deck revolves around reanimation, and as you guys know, if you're Grand Blue fans, reanimation means we need a drop zone. So I need a trash pile. This guy puts a card in trash on attack, and for you know, if I have five cards in my trash, the Digimon on top of him gains a thousand extra power so pretty simple but like i said yaman i really want to test more because um late game you don't really want to see pokemon on the board especially against yellow the game's being dragged out but is what it is with that um three copies of sukaimon starting off with the rookies three kind of sukaimon so uh her inheritable is when deleted uh gain memory i didn't really like this card personally um but i really but you know it's a card that never really did any expansive testing on and now that i have the expansive you know i'm doing more testing on it, i'm really starting to like this card a lot so um it is something that um i'm pretty happy with including into my build right now and i want to keep testing it you know moving forward to see you know how really good you know how good it is as my builds change and things like that uh three to peer mod on deletion draw card um, simple, easy, really cool attacker. I want to increase him to four, um, but I cut him down to three because just be, you know for because I value two other cards a little bit more than him at four. Um, four Gabumon, um, inheritable on deletion. Uh, draw two, ditch one. Gets helps you see two cards. A little bit kind of like a how do I say like a kind of like a graceful charity type of card in a way. Uh, you know, drawing two, ditching one, something like that. But gets, gets puts a puts a card we want in the trash, draws us so we can see two cards. Easy. Um, and then the reason why this deck is called a Beelzemon Turbo deck, really for the Warp Digivolve, is Impmon. So Impmon is one of my personal favorite Digimon, and um, he is the key to the entire Warp Digivolve strategy. Um, so when he gets deleted, you get to mill three cards. But I'll show you later why he is the key to the Warp Digiwall strategy. But that is it for my uh, for my rookies. Um, going into the champions, we're playing two copies of Wizardmon on deletion draw card. And um, his other abilities, if you have a yellow card, but we don't have yellow in the deck. So not really, don't even think about that. Um, for Vilemon, just a simple blocker. And then four copies of Devimon. Devimon, again, is one of my other favorite Digimon. Uh, he has a retaliation ability on both his inheritable and his um, normal ability, which is if if he loses a battle um, or the Digimon on top of him loses a battle and gets deleted, then he deletes a Digimon that deleted him in battle. Um, simple kind of like drag down to the grave technique. Uh, very strong card gets rid of a lot of different um, megas like this like purple has an issue with getting rid of like level sixes and big you know big megas and so he really just comes out here and lets you suicide swing into him and then swing into them and then you're good to go from there uh for ultimates playing one copy of uh, my Ozmon. just a vanilla um level five just wanted something as more you know just wanted to have one bridge he was at three but i've been cutting him down so far i'm liking him at one um you know, to add in other things, you know, for what the focus of the deck and how what the build is trying to achieve, one is fine. 
Uh, four copies of Chimeramon, really strong card for purple. Uh, seven costs, just drop him on the board. Delete, delete one of your Digimon. Delete one of your opponent's Digimon that's level five or less. Simple, um, easy, and then your following turn, you get to drop a Mega on top of him and you know do things like that. Um, really good board removal. A lot of times opponents will have level five sitting on board, level fours, blockers, whatever it is. He comes in put to put a body on the board, pass really kind of most times pass the turn, but puts a body on the board to get rid of something on there. And then if you delete something like something on Sukai Mon or like a Tapir Mon, you get to draw again in memory, whatever it is. Um, yeah, but Chimera Mon is super good. And then for Megas, we have two copies of Metal Garumon. It's a card that really that I'm that I've been testing out. Um, I had a build with him at four, but it really was not working out well. So cutting cutting him down to two, um, fo again, this is the BLs of my turbo decks. Um, but he's a card where if he just sits on the board, he just swings and he when he swings he revives a level three purple. And if he just sits on the board, you can really start ramping up and like g g making your field go extremely wide. Um, you know, he's a card where if your your opponent can really let this guy get out of control and that you know, you're always you always kinda want that <laughs> in a way. So um, two Metal Garumon, just a very solid card overall, and you know, it's, it's a Metal Garumon, I like the lineup. Two copies of Piedmon, so you guys saw him in the back, but that's my, I love Piedmon so much. Um, he's one of my favorite Digimon, Dark Master, uh, but he, he's a card that a lot of people find difficult to use, because his on-play cost, his on, he has Retaliation. As you guys know, Devimon has Retaliation. His on-play cost is to, you could grab two level, two um, level four or lower purple Digimon from your trash and call them to the board. Their on play abilities do not activate. Um, now it is 12 cost, but I think about it this way it is a huge tempo swing. When you drop him onto the board, you're putting out essentially three bodies. You're giving your opponent quite a bit of memory, but you're putting your opponent out of quite a bit of memory. You're putting three bodies on the board, and they can be pretty much anything a blocker, another retaliation unit. Um, Impmon to warp Digivolve next turn to Beelzemon. So um, it's really one of those things where it's like once you really kind of like establish board, you can put him here and it's like, this, okay, you have all this memory to work with. How can you counter three cards and, um, you know, you know, protect yourself for game? So, you know, he's, he's definitely an awesome card, but he's a card that, you know, is, can break, you know, early game and, um, can be difficult to find spots when to use but you know the more you use him the more you realize like hey this guy is really strong in this deck especially when it comes to either protecting yourself or establishing board control and you know daring you know daring your opponent to waste a lot of resources getting rid of your board or trying to respond to it um and then four copies of Beelzemon. so again this deck is a Beelzemon turbo build so when you have 10 cards in your trash and you have an Impmon on your in your battle area. You can warp Digivolve for four on top of Impmon, and delete a level four or lower card. Um, he's a simple card. Really, it's just really to turbo your trash to ten. Put Impmon on board. Warp Digivolve into him. Remove something on the board. Now you have a big eleven key body that you can either go straight into a Millennium Mon with, or you know keep swinging you know eleven at their security. Um, just a solid, really good card overall. Uh, one of the Dark Lords. <laughs> He's just an amazing card. Um, yeah. Not too much about him. I don't know. I don't think he's good really after 1.0 and his usage kind of goes down in 1.5. But so far he's really good uh, right now and I really like the way the deck is flowing. Um, now I know, and I know a lot of people play kind of like two or three, but since it's a build focus around warping, you know, into him, you know, we're playing four. Um, I thought four was too much as well, but four seems to be working. And again, I'm testing out ratios, and I'll probably have more updates later on. Um, two copies of Millennium Mon. He's kind of like the Omnimon for black and purple in a way, but. And so his ability, so when you Digivolve into him, you pretty much put a card, put the put one of your opponent's Digimon to the bottom of their deck and trash their sources. And then um, if he gets deleted and he has material and he has any Digivolution source under him, he basically reanimates himself for free. And he's 13k body, so he's hard to remove. And in this deck, you can do plays where you can like drop a Chimera Mon. Uh, you can swing with this, drop Chimera Mon, pop him, pop a card on your board, re you know, reanimate him to the board, and now you have a Chimera Mon, him on board, you got rid of something on your opponent, you dealt them a security, um, you put yourself in a pretty good position, so 
there's that. So, and that is it for the Digimon lineup currently. Um, we have Tamers. So we have Matashita, Purple Matashita. Um, simple card. Uh, when you when you hit in security or when you just play him, regardless, um, you get to add a purple option or any Digimon purple Digimon to your hand. So he's a good card just to recoup, and then he sets your memory to three. Um, I'm testing him at three. I wanted to. I usually play him at two, but I'm testing him at three just to see, just to really see about what happens if I see him more often and um, you know things like that. Uh, but. So far, three's been okay for me so far. I um, still want to really kind of focus on, you know, how you know how good he is, really. Uh, oops, that's not it. Heat Viper. My bad. Forgot to put Heat Viper out there for you guys. Where did Heat Viper go? He's under here. Um, sorry about that. Two copies of Heat Viper. Uh, Heat Viper is just a card where five costs, delete one of your Digimon and delete two of your opponent's level four or less Digimon. Simple, easy, um, just, you know, establish board presence, knock out a wall of blockers, knock out anyone trying to rookie rush, camping rush you. Um, pretty good removal. I want to cut it down to one, but two's been working just fine because I want to see it. I did it again. Uh, three copies of Night Raid. Um, Night Raid is an extremely powerful card for purple. Um, for two cost, you get to revive a level three, and if you hit it on security, you get to just perform this main ability of just reviving the level three uh, purple Digimon, and their on play cost don't activate. It's just a really good card, guys. Just unbelievably good. Um, they get out. It's a card I really want to test out and uh, play it for. And currently in my Lilith Mind deck, I'm testing out for, but in this deck, I really want to test out for since this deck is focused more about. Warp Digivolving into Beelzebub, so we can keep getting certain sort of things out. So, really good card. And last but not least, three copies of Trump Sword. Um, this is the pretty much I want to say the strongest removal uh, in the deck, other than Digi Digivolving into um, into Millennium Mon. Uh, so, pretty much, if your opponent's Digimon is not suspended or in rest mode, then you just pay seven and delete them, get them off the board. If they hit it in security, uh, it really you know stops their rush. So a lot of times opponents will swing with their strongest card just in case uh, you know you, you they do hit a trump sword in security and it knocks out you know one of the other cards. So it's just one of those things where opponents who have knowledge of purple will try to play around, but otherwise just a really strong card in general, especially if they try to like digivolve into like an Omnimon and past turn you can respond with a trump store trump sword um, you know and get rid of that. So yeah, but that's the deck profile, guys. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Um, definitely like, comment, subscribe, and, uh, you know, I'll have more discussion. I'll have, obviously, discussion videos, um, you know, tournament reports, stuff like that. Um, up uh, A lot of updates to the build because I'm always tweaking it. So this is Carfire King, Aqualife Baby. We're out.